bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Really looking forward to this matchup today. I know this game might not be on the forefront of people's minds all across the country, but I think we're going to have a terrific football game. That's going to do it for us here on the pregame show. NCAA Football 14 action coming at you right now. Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. This one underway as the teams are lined up for the opening kick. And this season is officially underway. From the eight yard line, he's out to the 30, and he's tackled at the 32 yard line. Cincinnati's looking to start a new tradition. They got a new leading man on the way here. And I think, you know, players get butterflies. I guarantee this new coach has some too. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Here's a running play. And they got him for a loss. It's never good for a back's confidence to get tackled for a loss. But this guy knows that he's got to just keep at it, and the holes will start to open up. So it's second and 12. Ball on their own 30. Scrambling around. And he's going to come up with a sack. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks. Or else his quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. He might not be able to get the pass off. He gets sacked on the play. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. So no luck on that drive as they go three and out. Fourth and long here after the sack. Lloyd awaits the snap. Church fields it to 48. Gets to about the 37-yard line. Pretty good job by the return man there. So the offense will come out in opponent's territory for their first drive of the game. They couldn't have asked for better field position than this. Has some daylight. And he's taken down at about the 21. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. We've got a first and 10. All on the 21. Quick shot to the tight end, and he can't pull it in. Lynch intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and 10. to catch it. He's got nowhere to go. Here's third and nine. Ball on the 20. And on the throw, he caught it. He's tackled in the open field. Good job by the offensive line to pick up the linebacker on the blitz. That gave the quarterback enough time to find his man for a nice game. From the five-yard line, first down. He's taken down at about the three-yard line. He's tackled around the 
around the three yard line. No gain on the play. That makes it third and goal. This is a very important play for both teams. It's third and goal from the two. They're trying to stop the run here with a goal line defense. They'll run it. Brought down right around the two yard line. A one yard gain by the halfback. That brings us fourth and goal. Kicks up, and it is good. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. They line up to kick this one away. Moore fields it at the 7. He's out to the 30. Tackle at the 34-yard line. The Spartans are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Tackle made around the 38 yard line. Gain of six yards. That'll bring up It's caught first down and he's out of bounds. Here's the true test of a quarterback at any level. Can they make a good throw under pressure when one or two or three guys are coming right at him? I think this young passer has proven that, yes, he can. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. catch there before he stepped out of bounds excellent job by this young quarterback of making the defense pay for bringing both outside linebackers that's composure right there from the 13 yard line it's first down and off to the right decent run here right side A tight, low-scoring game in that first 15 minutes. Let's see if things open up in the second quarter. 3-0, Spartan. We can only hope the second quarter is as good as the first. Tight ball game, folks. He scrambled. And down he goes. Around the six-yard line. Pressured and brought down. Well, we talked all week with these coaches, and even when we met with them yesterday out of practice, they told us there were some big concerns about facing these defensive ends. They thought that they might be able to hold up against him, maybe get the ball out of the pocket a little bit quicker, maybe use running backs and tight ends to help with double teams on the outside. But right now, whatever they thought they might be able to do, better get back to that drawing board because these defensive ends are just too quick. And he's got it. ready to kick this one off. Taken from the three-yard line. Johnson's 
This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. They go to the left for a nice game. Good gain by the tailback of about seven on the option play. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. And he's tackled at the 28-yard line. Incomplete. It's knocked down by the defense. These guys, especially in the secondary, really get after it and can make life hard for the play callers on the other side of the ball. Fraser to punt. He's taken down at the 45. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That'll make it second and four. Quickly incomplete. They're about four yards away here on third down. Complete. He's got room. They'll bring him down at the 40. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. And they make the stop at the 30-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Tighten up, tighten up. Pull together. Mike two, Mike two. Tackle right around the 18-yard line. That's a gain of 12 on the play. First down. Broadway taken down to the backfield. The D line did a good job of nullifying out the blocks up front, and that allowed the linebacker to roam free and make the tackle in the backfield. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 20 yard line. After a decent pickup. That's good for a game of five yards. That'll bring up third and eight. Throws it in a hurry. Big play, and it's first and goal. This guy is one of the most reliable receivers around. They needed a big play on third down, and he got it for them. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. And he's taken down at the two. The Bearcats call a timeout. That's their second of the half. This is the 10th play of this drive. Touchdown, Bearcats. the extra point. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. The Buckeyes come into today's game ranked second in the land. And for Ohio State, here's a team trying to win the first game of the year. The Ohio State leads it 21-14. 10-3 game here. 
The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Johnson's Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. A really a defensive battle going on right now so far, Kirk. Well, the defenses are flying around for football, doing a good job. I think both offenses are making it a little easier because of their style of game plan. I think uh, the offensive coordinator, take a few chances. Be willing to open it up and try to give your quarterback a chance to make a play. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Catches it, and he's immediately tackled behind the line. That's a two-yard loss. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. From their own 23-yard line, second down. four-yard line. Cincinnati will take their last time out. Washington will be the return man. Washington fields it at the 39. And he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. These guys came up with a touchdown on their last drive, and they'll be hoping for another six on the board here. I love to watch a quarterback when he can really get into sync with his wide receivers. These guys have worked all week on their preparation to attack this defense, and right now it's really paying off. He's tackled around the 24-yard line. Cincinnati up seven points. throws this one away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. From the 24-yard line, it's second down. Now it's first and goal as he's knocked out after a nice game. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. It's on a move. Touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A four-play, 48-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Lloyd has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. Tackle made at the 19. They're ready to begin another drive. Caught out of the open. Brought down around the 27-yard line. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Going deep. And he got it. To the 10. He scores. What a play. the PAT. A quick two-play, 80-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Well, Brad, right now this offense is hot, and they also took advantage of some mistakes there by the defense. So the score now, 17-10. Lee has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. Caught at the 8, and he's taken down at the 30. The offense now will take the field, and they hope to have the same success they had on their last drive. 
So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receivers. Right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. Nice run there. That brings him second and five. Cincinnati is up a score. Fires out to his wideout. Tackle made at the 39. Clark on the tackle at the 39-yard line. That'll make it third and one. Folks, that's the end of the first half, and this game's getting interesting. Cincinnati's lead is a touchdown. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. This is Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Both of these defenses are opportunistic and very good at forcing turnovers. But both quarterbacks, David, have done a very good job while trying to maintain an aggressive mindset they haven't forced the ball. The runners have done a good job keeping it put away. Yeah, and as much as you preach that all throughout the week, it's still hard to do. It's hard to execute. And being able to see what you see on the defensive side of the football and adjust to it offensively, how about protecting the quarterback so he's not getting hit from the blind side, fumbling the football, ball carriers running with the football, keeping it tight to their body, not giving it away. So, you know, between running backs, receivers, and quarterbacks, offensive linemen blocking, did a great job executing on the offensive side of the football, not to create, not to give away any turnovers. Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense, as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Up the middle. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. That's a loss of three yards. That'll bring up second and 11. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on the 24-yard line. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. That'll make it 39. Larry, Larry, Larry. 51 Mike. Mike 51. Watch the screen. Watch the screen. Zips it to the back. And he tackles him hard at the 31. Gain of five on the play. That makes it fourth and four. Fraser is waiting for the snap. He makes it to the 45-yard line. Well, this offense has found the end zone on their last two drives, and they're coming out on this one trying to do much of the same. Cincinnati is up seven. That's a great tackle at the 47-yard line. That makes it second and eight. Makes it out to about the 40. That makes it first and 10. He's scrambling. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. And down he goes at about the 29 yard line. First down. Keep it on the ground with a tailback. 
And he carries the ball for a nice game. That's a game of five on the play. That brings him second and five. Now he tries to buy some time. And he's tackled around the 21-yard line. First and ten, ball on the 13. Nice run up the middle. That's good for a game yards. That makes it seven and six. Cincinnati is up by a touchdown. There's a strike complete. They'll bring him down at the six-yard line. surprised these guys to see the run coming at them, but they just couldn't stop it. And he converts the extra point. So a nine-play, 54-yard drive, and the result, seven points. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They were forced to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll be looking for a little more out of their offense on this possession. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. That brings him second and five. From their own 30-yard line. Second down. Gets it out quickly. And they make the stop at about the 35. That's good for a gain of five yards. Third down. complete he's got room to work knocked out of bounds around the 49 yard line first and 10 ball in the 49 Black five, Black. he fights forward to about the 49 no game. that brings up second and nine it up the middle for a nice run. That's three down and one to go. Cincinnati's in front by 14. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. a huge huge stop here in the fourth quarter they've got the lead they're going to get the football back but there's still a lot of ball left it's fourth down and they're going to try to go for it he's going to try and scramble runs with it and he's got room tackled the 39 yard line This is the eighth play of the drive. He's under pressure. 
And he's taken down around the 22-yard line. You know, if you use him in this offense the right way, it's almost like you have an extra wide receiver. He's that good. From the 22-yard line, it's first down. He's looking for six. And he came down with it. What a catch. He makes the PAT. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? The Buckeyes survive at today's game, number two in the nation. This is a game we've been watching closely all day long. And for Ohio State, here's a team trying to win the first game of the year. Lee is lined up to kick this one off. He'll return it from the four-yard line. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Cincinnati up seven points. On the ground with the tailback. Good tackle there in space. forward to about the 30. Quick strike to the receiver. He's taken down at about the 37-yard line. Church is the deep man awaiting the return. And down he goes at the 35. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. They'll spread the field with five wide. He's on the run. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. Very good tackle in space. From the 45-yard line, first down. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. Nothing flashy at all, but now that first down marker is a lot closer. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Now he's scrambling. He's tackled at the 31-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 31-yard line. him hard at the 16. That makes it second and six. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on the 16-yard line. And he stopped behind the line. The lineman had a big push there to get in the backfield and bring him down. And once he gets moving, there's no stopping him. This guy is so big and strong that he's almost impossible to block with one guy. 
The Spartans taking their first time out of the half. Five wide. And he snags that one. Brought down at the 13. The Spartans are going to call their second time out. This could be it, fellas. It's fourth down. Throw to the tight end. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Just under a minute left in the fourth quarter, and this game hasn't failed to disappoint. It's a tie ball game. We're locked at 24s. Lee looks ready to kick this one off. He'll return it from the six. He's out to the 30. The 50. And he's taken down at the 43-yard line. Late in the fourth quarter now, game is tied. Which coach can outcoach the other? It's a chess match right now. They'll line up with five wide receivers. quickly and he's got his man tackle made at the 18 yard line that makes it first and 10 first down 10 to go ball on the 18 16 yard line. The Bearcats will use their first time out of the half. There's the timeout we were all expecting. The kick is up and it splits the uprights. kick here a touchdown return is their only chance at victory he really got a hold of that kick he's tackled at the 20-yard line and so that's going to do it the Bearcats take this one 27-24 Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.